when you're ready, good luck. Move yourself out, stop, reverse into any bay. Mm. Thank you. Excellent blind spot over to this side. <clears throat> Ten ten, nice reverse bay park. Thank you. Take your time. We're going to exit the car park. Hopefully, the sat nav will give us directions. So for now, if you just follow around to the right, and we'll head off to the exit. Thank you. Quite slow moving. I think you're safe enough. Good decision. At the end of the road, turn right, Marsh Road. Turn right. And instead, we'll turn left, which is the Way to go. And then at the end of the road, a little bit of luck, turn right. Thank you, and then the sat nav should hopefully reroute. So, if you would just begin your independent drive and follow the sat nav, please. Turn right, Bridge Street. with your patience and not just rushing the junction, taking your time. Excellent, good advantage using the pedestrian crossing. Excellent junction. Nice use of speed here for your high street, plenty of hazards. Good mirror checks. Oh, for everyone that's new to the channel, I forget to mention this. If you want the results, they'll be at the end. After so 200 that, yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Marsh Road. And please hit that like button, guys. Really helps. Thank you. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Excellent observations for your first mini roundabout.
After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Marsh Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. follow this road, it's about half a mile. Would you be able to tell us about the power steering, how we'd test to see if it's working? So, when stationary, we should be able to turn to turn smoothly. If, if there's something wrong with it, we'll, we'll, we'll be stuck. Yes, nice answer. Thank you. After 300 yards, sharp left, A404, George V Avenue. How many people make mistakes at that junction? Well done. I'd just like you to pull up somewhere on the left here for me, please. Thank you, as you're well aware, this is just part of the test. Take your time when you're ready, drive on and continue to follow the set nav. Thank you. Good blind spot checks, excellent. Very important that we return to the left lane, so congratulations. Failing to do so will result in a serious driver fall and not being successful for the test, so so important. Well done. Good awareness of where the speed changes and not increasing your speed before where the speed changed okay um, boring story I failed one of my tests because I started to increase my speed before the sign I failed for speed Ooh, talking about questions when it's safe I'd like you to show us how we would Level. There we go. Not too bad. Pretty simple question that one. Some people can be afraid to beat the horn. It's all right. I mean, if the cars are really close or someone's super close, maybe just wait till we pass them. But you know, as you can see, this situation here absolutely fine to beat the horn. I'm not going to startle anyone. So all good. Nice. Well done with the show me question.
after 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A404, Duxbridge Road. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. You are allowed to stop on roundabouts as long as it's not blocking traffic, that's absolutely fine. So for everybody that's at home, <clears throat> don't forget to smash that like button, especially if you're learning something. We can stop on roundabouts, that is okay. Just the condition is that we mustn't block traffic trying to get through the roundabout, okay? So, just putting that out there. What happened to the Waitrose van? Do you see that? I don't think it's a manual though. It looked like a stool. Let's see. No, maybe just some sharp braking. Nice for keeping a safe distance on the van so you can see slightly around the vehicle. That's always helpful. Lorries tend to have this sticker on the back. I'm sorry if I'm boring anybody, but the sticker says, if you can't see my mirrors, I can't see you. So by keeping a bit back from lorries and bigger vehicles, we can see more and they can see us. So that's helpful on two levels. Ah, we found the reason why there's so much traffic here. So there's just a tiny bit of roadworks and a temporary traffic light up ahead. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed your driving's actually sort of, you're becoming more confident now from the last mock tests and now um, you're seeing that gap and you're going for it. It's nice, this is a good progression on your skills. And that's experience. The more experience we have, generally the more confidence grow. After 100 yards, turn right, Woodhall Gate. Turn right. next section or challenge that we'll have are twin roundabouts. The sat-nav does do a pretty bad job at giving directions at twin roundabouts. So when we get close, I'm going to ask you to ignore the sat-nav at that point. And the examiner or myself, I'll give you the directions instead, okay? So as we get closer, I'll repeat all of that. Thank you. So we're just going to go straight ahead through the traffic lights. There'll be two roundabouts. 
at the first roundabout straight ignore the sat nav so straight ahead at the first roundabout and after 200 know. yards go right on the roundabout and take the second exit a404 pin a green pew pew um at the first roundabout straight ahead second roundabout turn left ignore the sat nav right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, B466, Cuckoo Hill, then take the third right. After 200 yards, turn right, Chamberlain Way, then take the third right. Turn right, Chamberlain. Correct, yes, it's the next road on the right. Turn right, then take the third right. Absolutely brilliant positioning. Uh, just for everybody at home, Papa stayed straight here and turned right at the correct time. Many people or students will go left and then turn right, which is dangerous. Why so grumpy, Scott? After 100 <laughs> yards, turn right, talk hard drive. Turn right. Good steering. Again, perfect. Staying straight and turning right at the correct time. Good steering. Thank you. All right, there's a little parking space behind the learner here. If you wouldn't mind just trying to pull up on that parking space for me. Nice signal. Very helpful for the oncoming traffic there. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, that will be the end of the independent driving. So we'll just put Gloria over here. She can have a little R&R. &R. And then I'll give the directions for the rest of the test. When you're ready, sir, and it's safe, drive on. And I'll just give the directions for the rest of the test. And if anyone's still with us, I hope you're enjoying the video. Just to let you know, we are now passing Pinner Driving Test Centre on our right. Okay, so identical to the junction that we just drove past at Pima Test Center. This is the very, this is identical, okay? Very similar. Uh, this is the more likely way you'll start your test. So just like this junction, turn left here, and then left again. And that's identical, like we mentioned, to exiting the test center, and the most common way to go, left and left. We call this the triangle junction. So if you ever hear anyone referencing a triangle junction, 
is exactly the one that Papa just did, identical to the driving test centre one. In fact, we're going to have another triangle junction at the end of this road, and lots of people get confused at their triangle junctions, so just make sure you ask your instructor, or whoever you're training with, what's a triangle junction? Okay, um, let's pull up on the left in a safe place. This will be the third and final time. Very nice mirrors and signals from Papa. And nice steering, very smooth very aware of his parking bay and moving across early. Excellent positioning. Um, that's it, third and final time. Every time that you pulled over, you've done your mirrors, your signal, your parking, pulling up in a very good and safe position. Fantastic. And then I won't say what you need to do before you move off, because you know that, and I'm not gonna spoil the test, but that's what the examiners are looking for, what we need to do to pull up, what we need to do to move away. So whenever you're ready, sir, drive on, follow the road ahead, and I'll give you directions in good time. Thank you. I talk like this because that's the way the examiners will talk on the real test. Lovely blind spot checks again. Double blind spot check. That's good practice. Okay, we're coming towards the end of the road where we have another triangle junction. Nothing too tough. Just want us to turn left at the end of the road. Good, maintaining the safe distance from your parked vehicles here, well done. Didn't get distracted by the post person. And you maintain the safe distance. Lovely with your triangle junction. And we have the other learner there practicing their triangle junction, positioning at the correct time. Good demonstration from both of you. holding your ground, reading the oncoming traffic's position and speed and maintaining your course. No confusion, confident, safe. Well done. Nice mirror checks. Good smooth change of direction, allowing plenty of space for the oncoming traffic good awareness and yet you're still maintaining a safe gap for yourself end of the road turn right nice mirror signal good early position lovely approaching speed Okay, nice junction. Don't take this the wrong way. This speed bump can, I'm not saying it will, slow down this oncoming traffic. It may, again, these are all just hypotheticals. I'm not saying to go. Uh, it may give us a little gap sometimes if that happens, they slow down this bump. 
overall, very good junction. Yeah, well done. They're just little pieces I'm adding to your knowledge, or maybe just mentioning, which you probably already noticed. But. All right, if you just take this next left here for me, please. High view. Lovely mirror checks. Excellent early braking. Good maintaining pressure on the brake. And good swapping to the gas pedal on your exit. Very good skills. Oh, stop making me smile. It's nice when I see your progression. The one thing that I really liked with our lessons, there was a point where I encouraged you to move out early as you pass parked cars. Mm -hmm. Like the next lesson, even the same day, I started to see you do that and you consistently kept doing that. And it was just like, yeah, you can see how that really sunk in and you're applying it. And it was just nice to see. Yeah, we're just going to follow this road all the way. All the trees have had a haircut. It must have been a big job. And at the end of the road, turn right. Excellent, nice decision making, good acceleration, that was good. You're waiting to see that car commit to the turn to make a decision, which is the safe way of doing it. It's also on the theory test. At the roundabout, turn left, first exit. Almost finished. Nice mirror checks. Excellent observations. Chapel Lane, one of three very narrow roads, still two-way. Still a two-way. That's it, good. So you're just trying your best to position a little bit closer to the left. Can help us to see a bit. And then if there is any oncoming traffic, be in a safer position. Just take the next entrance here on the right, please, back into the car park we started in. Full circuit, baby. Yeah, when in doubt, leave it out. That's reading the pedestrian as well. You can see that, you know. They're pretty much not stopping, are they? So, just have to wait a bit longer if that's the case. New highway code must allow pedestrians walking out in the road to cross the road. Right, I'm not really fussed how this goes, and the exam will be the same. We've done the manoeuvre, drive forwards into any bay. Bonus points. Yeah, sure. That's a good tip. I think Okay, if you wanted to. No problems with that. I'm not including this as your manoeuvre, but you know, carry on. It's good practice.
Thank you. And if you just do me an extra favour, we'll turn off. We know it's the end of the test when the examiner asks us to switch your engine off. All right, all round very good drive. Uh, as you are aware, it is a traditional. We'll try that one again. It is a tradition around here to ask you, how do you feel it went? Are we talking pass? Yeah, I'll say, I'll say the pass. Quite a confident pass there, I like, I like it, yes. We'll cut straight to the chase. Congratulations, you have passed. And I haven't marked any minor driver faults. If I wanted to be super picky, the bit where the car slowed down at the speed bump, mm -hmm. little gap there. Mm -hmm. But I'd have to be pretty picky about that, to be mm -hmm. honest. So I'm not going to mark that. I'm going to say congratulations. You passed with zero minor driver faults, zero major driver faults. So you probably already know that's a clean sheet. That's what we call it in the biz. Mm -hmm. uh, very hard to get. Well done. Any questions? Um, <coughs> it's heat junk. Like the first junction that we did, I think, uh, um, it, was, it was by the, Rob the Robsons. Was by the Robsons when we're coming back into the road. Would would I have a markdown for undue hesitation over there? No. Okay. We didn't have any opportunities to go to walk out. That's how I judge it. Why would I walk out in front of mm -hmm. the cars um, until that pedestrian had come along and used the zebra crossing? As soon as that pedestrian came on your right side to use the zebra crossing and it stopped the traffic on the right, you had no traffic on the left. You went out and crossed the road. It was perfectly timed. Absolutely zero hesitation there. Good question, though, because that always worried me when I was doing my mock tests. Have I waited too long? Have I got hesitation or not? So hopefully that helped you to feel a bit more confident. That was excellent. Any other bits and pieces that you're not too sure of or anything that you'd like to mention? I think, I think yeah, everything's fine for now. Okay, yeah, I would say so as well. Definitely agree. Mm -hmm. I think on that note, I just want to say an actually big thank you to you again for sharing. Congratulations. You already have your gold medal, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right, so we just get one. <laughs> Crisis. What do they call it? Uh, let me thank you very much. And on that boring bombshell, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you next time.